So uh, let's look at KD trees. The basic idea of KD trees is, remember, we're in low dimensional uh, continuous space. So what are we going to try to do is we're going to try to cut that space into halves and just do the search in one of the, in one of the quadrants. So uh, the way the algorithm works is, let's say this is our data set, and now the x's have two attributes, and then x1 and x2. What you do is you pick an attribute, you find the median, and then you split the data set along that median. So in that case, the median happens to be 6 uh, for the first attribute, right? So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, uh, 5 attributes smaller, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 greater than or equal to uh, six. So I would first split it on the six and then look at the second attribute. The second attribute, uh, so here I get the following uh, numbers and uh, the median of the second attribute happens to be four in these numbers and it happens to be eight in those numbers. So geometrically, what does it look like? Uh, it looks kind of like that, right? So these are all the points in my data set. I, uh, I look at the first attribute, the uh, x1, find the median Everything that's greater than or equal goes on one side. Everything that's smaller goes on the other side. And then I find another median, but I use a different attribute. Right? So now I use, uh, I'm, I'm calling it y, I should call it x2. Right? So I find the median, and there are things above the median or below the median. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this space, and I'm cutting it in half every time. And I'm cutting at the median, but I'm using different attributes, different dimensions at each step. So as a result, I'm going to fracture the space into these little cubes, hypercubes, uh, and I have a tree-like structure. So when I get a new data point, uh, I can just walk down the tree until I end up in one of these hypercubes. So uh, my new data point is 7, 4, so I'm going to compare it. I'm going to compare the first attribute to 6. It's greater than or equal, so I'm in this branch. This means I'm on this side uh, in space. Uh, now, next I'm going to com compute the, uh, compare the second attribute to uh, 4, and it's going to be, sm uh, no, sorry, to 8. Right? And it's going to be smaller than 8, so that means that I fall into this bucket, into this region of space. So what I can do then is I stop, and within that bucket I, I'm going to compare my testing point to all the training points that fall into that bucket. And in this case I'm going to compare it to this guy and to this guy. It is an approximate technique because you will make mistakes. Right? That is the nearest neighbor and that's not part of the bucket because that ended up on the other side of the median split and you would never uh, end up uh, considering that. Right? So it's approximate technique. You will miss some nearest neighbors but it allows you to quickly drill down to a bucket that has roughly uh, uh, right-looking uh, examples. Okay, so that's what you do for low-dimensional data.